And here it is, Blood Red Skies Japanese Ace Pilot Saburo Sakai. This is a wonderful addition to your Japanese forces in the game Blood Red Skies, especially if you have the battle for Midway uh, two-player starter. So, uh, not much to say. In this box, you're going to get your uh, Mitsubishi A6M50. You'll also get an Advantage Flying Base, uh, aircraft card, two aircraft trait cards, two double-sided pilot skill discs, one Saburo Sakai Ace card, and two Ace skill cards. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. First off, you get your Zero in a baggie. This has the Advantage Flight Base as well as the model. We'll take a closer look at that in a little while. You also have the pilot discs. So on one side, you're going to have a pilot level four as well as a Saburo Sakai uh, disc, which is a five. On the other side, you have two fives as well as the chit here. Lastly, you get a baggie with all the other cards and a set of sticker decals that you can apply on your model. We'll take a closer look at everything right. next. First, we have the Advantage Flying Base. As you can see, just the standard base that denotes the advantage and disadvantage, as well as neutral positions for the model. You also will apply your pilot disc to this right here. Next up is the Zero in a cream color. Nice uh, panel lining. This seems to be the Warlord resin. Again, you're going to paint this up, and if you paint it well, that panel lining is going to show up real nice. All right, next up is the A6M50 card. It's a single engine fighter here at Stats. Gets the traits tight turn and vulnerable. On the other side of the card is just a little bit of information on the Zero. Next is our Ace card. Here is Ace Pilot Saburo Sakai. Single engine fighters only, so I'm assuming you could apply him to any other Japanese single engine fighter. He has the signature trait plus one, um, I believe that's speed. He has a skill card, it's aggressive, and then comeback king, and of course his pilot skill is five, because he's an ace. On the other side is just some information on Saburo Sakai. All right. Next up are his ace skill cards. So we have comeback king and aggressive, uh, and ace can fight back even from a bad position. That's the comeback king. You play this in reaction to enemy shooting at a disadvantaged ace. What you do is if the ace critically dodges a shooting attack while disadvantaged, he becomes neutral. Okay. Aggressive. Aces learned to be aggressive and always take the offensive with all guns blazing. You play this on an ace during his activation. And what you do is the ace can choose both outmaneuver and shoot as pilot actions this activation turn. You, normally you get one pilot action in the activation, so. Okay, next up, your aircraft traits. So first off, vulnerable. Design flaws included a lack of pilot armor, made some aircraft virtual death traps. You play this on a vulnerable plane being shot at. Uh, you do this to increase the firepower of the shooting attack by one uh, before the dice are rolled. Next is tight turn. A lightweight airframe in large wings allowed the plane to turn better. Play this on a plane with this trait during its movement. Do this to make the plane uh, make its normal 45 degree turn at any point in its movement, not just at the end. Okay. And then lastly, you have your sticker decals. Again, these are stickers. You can peel them off and apply them to the model as needed uh, on the, uh, wherever it needs to be on the model. Um, better to have decals, but in a pinch, the stickers will do just fine if you don't wanna wait um, by ordering decals for the appropriate model. In this case, the A6M5, so. All right, and there you have it. Blood Red Skies Japanese Ace Pilot Saburo Sakai, a great addition to your Japanese forces for Blood Red Skies, especially if you're building up 
from the Battle of Midway two-player starter uh, Japanese force in that. So, all right, if you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new unboxings coming out of the channel, and then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That is the best way I can personally interact with you and chit-chat you about Blood Red Skies and any other game that we cover on the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Blood Red Skies unboxings from Wargaming Noob Historical.